hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to show you how to solve tempo error in fs studio i think i just i just made this bit just now that's just a bit of the preview of the bit but there's one thing i'm noticing so i think the temple of the tempo is by default locked to 79 but i want to take it to 100 so i just put it on 100 to see so as you can see, it automatically switched back to 79. But I have to check something. Sometimes you can have the tempo errors between your um, your uh, keyboard section, um, your piano roll, sorry, your piano roll. So we'll just come to check here and check if we have any tempo errors. Sometimes you can just have your tempo recorded by default here. Then uh, you have to check around your piano rolls to see if you have any pitch, maybe any tempo initialization right here, then you just delete it. So I have to first of all do this to go around all the channels to find a, a tempo uh, a tempo error recordings here to be able to delete them. So you can as well do the same thing for your channel. I think I, I don't have any here. I don't really have any here. So so what we're going to do is to go to our browser section. So our browser section is right located here. So if you don't have your browser section, I think you just click this button. Um, no, this button, you can see the browser section is off. You can as well just click to bring back the browser section button. Then what you need to do is to go to current project. You go to um, patterns. So under patterns, you click patterns. We're going to click patterns right now. Then you now see this um, auto effect pattern here. So when you click, you can begin to see out of your channel here. We have your piano roll, your kick, your snare, basically your basic the instrument you selected, which are actually same for uh, here. You selected your project. Then we're going to see tempo. So this is actually the problem that you are having. The reason why it's changing um, back and forth. Like I go back right here, I put it on a 110. So once you play, go, once you play, it goes back to the original tempo. So what we need to do is to click the tempo. As you can hear, so this is the mistakenly recorded event. Mistakenly recorded event. So all you need to do is to... So what you need to do is to do what? To highlight, control all on your keyboard and click delete on your keyboard control delete so i click delete so you can see the temple is off so now that it's off you you click your save button you close this browser click your save button so we're not going to change the tempo right here back to 100 so you can see the tempo actually stays the tempo has done what has stay so you can see how I follow the pattern. So you can do where to replay this video. So if you have tempo errors, hmm, what you need to do is first of all check all your piano rules to see if the errors are there. Then the secondly, you need to come to your current project, go to your pattern. From your pattern, you're going to see um, a pattern page here. When you click a pattern page, definitely you're going to see the tempo here. Click on the tempo and delete the error. Then your tempo can be able to stay fit to your project. So guys, so make sure you watch the next video on how to make Afrobeat from start to finish. This project is five minutes.
Thank you.